Can AI actually beat a human designer? Today, we put it to the test. I'm gonna try and recreate a Mr. Beast thumbnail using only artificial intelligence. Will the result be epic fail or click-worthy masterpiece? Watch till the end to find out. The thumbnail I've chosen to recreate comes from the biggest channel on YouTube, Mr. Beast. And this is the thumbnail that I have choose. Let's break down the key elements of this thumbnail and see if AI can capture its magic. First element, lots of people from diverse age group wearing blue track suit, Second, pointing their index finger to the guy in the center. Third element, guy in the center wearing red t-shirt with big smile. So, this is what I did. I wrote down all the element as a prompt, and it turned out to be total. Shit. Except for this one, this looks promising. And as you know, this AI tool provide us magical prompt. So I just used the magical prompt. Remove the finger pointing part for the guy in the center, and I also added my genius 1000 IQ creative brain to add some more, and it turned out to be. Shit! Bruh, 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 bruh. Actually, I tried to play around with some facial features because in the end, we'll be trying to face swap a thumbnail character with Mr. Beast's face. And it would be better if the character already looked similar to Mr. Beast. Because this AI does not have Mr. Beast's face data, so I have to type his beard style manually. And if Mr. Beast were a big Hollywood star, then the AI might have created faces similar to his based on existing celebrity data. But don't worry, even though it might not work perfectly with YouTubers, I'll still show you the results using Mr. Beast and Leonardo DiCaprio at the end. And we needed some facial hair as well to face swap Mr. Beast's face so that it would look real. So after two to three attempts, I finally was able to get a little closer. Why only a little closer? Because I didn't know what beard style Mr. Beast has. So I just typed Patchy Van Dyke Beard and, well, you've seen the horrible results. Then I changed the prompt to Very Patchy Blonde Beard on Chin. And after a few attempts, this is the result I came up with. Now, I think this will work well for the face swap. All right, folks, let's get down to the face swapping business. My weapon of choice today is Face Swapper AI. Now, this tool has a limited number of credit, maybe per day, I don't know. This is my first time using this software, so we gotta be strategic. Here are the images I'm going to use and the goal is to seamlessly morph these faces into Mr. Beasts and create some truly epic thumbnails. And now let's see what kind of result the AI can cook up for us. And yeah, forget to mention it's not blue tracksuit, it's Sky Bull. But by the time I realized this, I already ran out of credit. So let's continue with what we have. This is the photo I am using of Jimmy, and this is the first image we are going to face, swap. Now we have to select the face because there is multiple faces in the image. Now just upload Mr. Beast image and just click on swap face. And this is the first result. Uh, I mean, kind of look like Mr. Beast, but very young and no beard makes it weird. Now let's try for the second time. And this is the image. The only problem with this image is his hair. Way too blonde. Now let's click on face swap. And here is the result. As expected, everything is good except for the hair. And after some editing adjustment, this is the result I came up with. You guys would not have noticed. Unless I have told you that. This is AI generated, except for the style. Mr. Beast prefer little cartoonish. And this one is little realistic. That's the only difference, I guess. And this is the third one. Much better than others. Everything looks good except for the hair looks little to bulky, and that's all. These are the side-by-side -side comparison. And these two results I like compared to others. And I also mentioned that I'll show you the results for celebrity, and here is the result. I changed the prompt to Leonardo DiCaprio instead of guy in the center. This, how it turned out, looks similar to Leonardo DiCaprio. And now, after the face swap, this is how it looked. And I also tried to recreate thumbnail that contained no faces, and this is the result I came up with. And also, I am not good at writing prompt. Still, results were astonishing. Now make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for crazy AI challenge videos.